Hey everybody and welcome to Indie Resources 8th video on how to build a browser based MMO version 2.0. Um, in this video it's about time we put a login system in here and got some characters in there uh, that way we can we can kind of start really building the stats and everything like that. So what I did as you can see here I got a, a login page. This is still the actual index.html page. Um, it's not any new page. This is what uh, Bootstrap calls a model that's over it. M-O-D-A-L and as you can see you can't do anything else um, but and it has like a, a validation for login, which I don't have anybody in there. But I just put this bypass button so you can see that once you do log in, then it goes to our normal page. But it is just part of the same exact page. Kind of keeps it from from refreshing and everything else. So I want to stay away from the refreshing as much as possible. Um, if we go, you notice in the database, um, I did add a players. Um, let's go ahead and go to it. And log back in. So it's a. Um, it's a players table and if we look at the structure you can just import uh, import it in, I'll, I'll export it out and you can import it in but basically it has an ID um, of course the name of the character, the password uh, their map R location, their map C, here's their zone down here um, their level, their experience, race, class, hit points, magic points and then with the stats I'm going to do things a little differently this time we kind of um, we a lot of games are the same and I just wanted to kind of change it up and make things a little different so I have strength agility which wisdom which is pretty much the same but also I have precision body and mind so basically your precision is going to do a lot to do with um, your mining and your crafting and things like that and just kind of how precise you are because if you think about it people some people are very precise I'm not I'm one of the most un precision type person there is but other than when I do numbers but anyway so there there is a vast range and that would have to do a lot to do with fishing and and just things like that stuff that you might have to be a little more precise than others um, the body is basically like constitution in most games and then mine is more like a mental kinda like we, what your saves and thing are gonna be built off of so you can you can name them whatever you want it doesn't really matter but when it comes down to just what the stat controls, I figured those are a good list of stats that we can kinda control all, all of our skills from and everything they are tiny integers because they're going to be 100 based so you're going to start off and I do have some um, defaults here the average person is just default of 10 and your race might give you a little more and then you're gonna as you do things you'll actually gain like a point one to those as you do things and you know it'll also be set to where it's kind of tiers where 10 through 20 is going to be pretty easy not pretty easy but it's going to be a lot easier to to level up in those while the 20 to 40 is going to be harder 50 to 60 is going to be super hard 70 to 80 is going to be ridiculously hard and then 90 to 100 takes forever you know it takes a long time so it's one of those things where 100 doesn't seem like a long ways to go you'd think people would get through it fast but we're going to make it to where the higher up you get the harder it is to level up in it so it kind of keeps people playing for a long time and people are going to have multiple characters but I don't want to get too crazy on it and have like Dungeons and Dragons where you know you roll a strength of 18 and it never goes up hardly ever um, I wanted something they could kind of build on but then the same thing I didn't want it like Final Fantasy where you may start out with a strength of 10 but by the end of the game you have a strength of like a thousand I just didn't want to go too far out there anyway so our skills are going to be totally separate mining and things like they're going to be a separate table but I did at least want to get this in here I don't have any players in there because we haven't built a registration page but I wanted to show you what I built um, so you know to import it you can technically probably import it next now I'll go ahead and put it in this one never mind so if we go to our code <clears throat> some things I added I, I added in our index.html I added this model which is what pops up um, there's a form inside the model which is kinda like a, it's basically a bootstrap form um, it does, here's our buttons so when you hit submit it, it does a JavaScript function called login it calls it the reset basically just resets it and this is that extra piece I put in there it does build page it bypasses and I'll show you what that is so it captures username it captures password right here nothing huge here I did also by the way I added doc type HTML and head and, and all that good stuff because we, we needed it I just haven't added it yet um, but if we go to our if you go into your scripts to JS I did put login outside of engine because there's a couple things here you guys may have a totally different login system whatever you want the other thing is too eventually we're gonna do Google um, Google account logins Facebook logins things like that 
they're completely separate from the engine. I wanted to leave it separate in case people wanted to make add-ons or do their own stuff. It's in their own, you know, their own folder for login. Um, this user login.js, if you open it up, it's basically, that's that function we call login. Um, I was actually doing a test here with that console. Um, so it does a, um, once you hit login, it does a validating. It's usually really quickly on the local, so you don't even really see it. Don't worry about what's what's going on here a whole lot. It's just adding some classes and um, it's calling this this AJAX function, which I need to put down here so it looks a little prettier. And let's fix this real quick because this looks terrible. Um, so it's doing an AJAX. It's it's calling validation.php. It's sending the username and the password off that form. And JSON just pretty much the same. I was doing another console log, make sure it came through okay. Um, and it does a callback. Right now, this this doesn't have, ex this isn't exactly the way it's going to work. Um, I'm just doing a test here, but we are going to pass. Right now, I'm only passing back one, because eventually we're going to pass back the player stats and everything, so we can build the page out of it. But since we don't have any of that, I just passed a one to say yes. Basically, it's a true, but it's not really going to matter right now. So if data equals like it, it worked, then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to grab that message box that you seen pop up that was red which if I go to here and hit login, this right here. And you could mess with that, change it however you want, doesn't matter. That's all it does is it it does this real quick login, logging in, and then um, if it works, it does the, that's when it calls the build page, which I'll show you what that is. And then here is another little console.log I was testing. Otherwise, if it doesn't come back, and what we're going to have is either going to come back empty or it's going to come back none, that's when it does the login details are incorrect. So don't worry about understanding everything in here because, to be honest with you, it's not really that important. It's, it's something you can read through and kind of figure it, figure it out. But it's nothing that I really want to train on just because it's, it is it is some pretty simplistic stuff. You're just adding classes. It's some jQuery stuff that's not really, once we're done with it, we're not really going to use it again. Probably not going to touch it. Um, so then we look at our validation.php, which is going to be in uh, your PHP scripts. The reason why I'm not turning the, changing these out into folders is because these are all our calls and it's by far easier that even if we had a hundred in here it's for, it's easier to come up in here and search than to and just pull it out than to have to go through a bunch of folders so I, I I leave my my scripts my web scripts any of that stuff all into one big big file you can separate them how you want I just the way I do it um, kind of the same thing creator class creator database class we um, do some stuff to the username to make sure people can't hack we do a uh, MD5 on the password, um, and then we just select all from players where name equals name, password equals pass. Pretty simple. And then if if the, if the rows, if it returns a row, that's where I was sending yes or no, which really should have been one or one or zero. But it does, like I said, it doesn't really matter because we don't have anything in there. The next video we're gonna set up a registration page, select our character, select our race, our class, all that good stuff, and then this will this will actually come into play. But for now, that's all that that's all the script is, and pretty simple, pretty simple login system overall. Um, but it uh, works pretty well. We can put you can put a little splash background back here, and then, like I said, when you hit login and it works, it's basically going to do that, and then you're gonna it's going to fill up our sheet with where the character is in the map, and where you know all the stats and all that good stuff. So that's going to be what we do next. We're going to get the registration and everything, but we want to get that login system out of the way.